morning and welcome to Global Digest, your light-hearted look at current affairs around the world. I am Ama Marcus. U.S. President Joe Biden welcomed Kenyan President William Ruto to the White House on Thursday for a state visit, promising new cooperation in technology, security and debt relief to the leader of one of Africa's greatest democracies. Ruto is the first state head of state to visit uh, the White House since 2008, demonstrating the importance of the continent with one billion people and a tight commercial connection with China, which runs behind the walls in Ukraine and Gaza, and on Washington's priority list. Well, in the evening, Ruta was the guest of honor at a spectacular state dinner attended by a diverse group of visitors. Well, we interacted with Voice of America's correspondent Nabil Bajingo in Washington yesterday, and here's what he had to say. We are here in Washington, D.C., the United States Capitol, where uh, the Kenyan President William Ruto has been accorded a state visit. He just wrapped up uh, a joint press conference with U.S. President Joe Biden at the White House, where the two heads of state address uh, the, the press and, uh, and attendance there. And they talked about a host of issues. First of all, this is a very high-profile visit. is a is a state visit, the first of its kind, to be accorded to an African head of state since 2008. So it's been over 15 years. And uh, uh, President William Ruto is here. Uh, basically, uh, he has uh, some items on his agenda. Uh, among them is investment and uh, debt relief. Uh, so regarding uh, th through the uh, program, the U.S. Uh, program for investment, uh, dubbed uh, the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation, the United States today, through the President and the White House, they have pledged uh, investments worth $250 million in uh, the Kenyan economy, uh, which brings uh, U.S. Uh, financial portfolio in Kenya to over a billion uh, U.S. dollars. Officials uh, who spoke here uh, touched on a few areas of investment that uh, they both agreed on and, and emphasized. Uh, President Joe Biden, as long as, uh, rather, as well as um, uh, uh, Speaker of the House, uh, Mike Johnson, they talked about. Um, Combating uh, extremism in uh, in Eastern Africa and the Horn of Africa, they they applauded the role of Kenya in doing that with the Shabab in neighboring Kenya. But then they moved on uh, to talk about investments. They emphasized areas such as um, innovation, uh, technology, uh, cybersecurity, artificial artificial intelligence, semiconductors, and others. And uh, President William Ruto, when he spoke. He also emphasized investment in the digital space in technology, describing Kenya as a young tech country with a young population that's hungry uh, for uh, technology and, and, in, and investment. Regarding uh, debt relief, uh, we all know President William Ruto is very passionate about debt relief. We've seen past statements uh, and actual discussions at the World Bank and the IMF where he passionately advocated for debt relief for developing countries, including, of course, Kenya, which is burdened by a huge uh, debt, uh, over 80 billion uh, U.S. dollars. During their press conference and other statements they made, President Joe Biden promised to do more to help, uh, not just uh, through uh, like U.S., Kenya, but other creditors uh, and, and, and economies around the world to do more, uh, to give uh, more favorable loans and, and grants to African economies and developing economies, uh, but also uh, to push for a program for debt relief for countries uh, such as Kenya. This is an issue, like I just mentioned, is very near and dear to the heart of the Kenyan uh, head of state, uh, William Ruto. And also, uh, speaking of investment, there were other areas of investment. The, all officials emphasized technology, innovation. Uh, uh, other areas of investment that uh, were discussed included uh, green energy, uh, health manufacturing, uh, that would be things like vaccines and, you know, building capacities in Africa to manufacture drugs and vaccine, as well as affordable housing. 
uh, in Kenya. And beside uh, investment in, in the economy, the Kenyan economy and, and innovation, uh, President Joe Biden and other officials like Speaker Mike Johnson, they uh, praise Kenya for its uh, stabilizing role in the region with combating uh, extremism in neighboring uh, Somalia with a Shabab militant group. Not only that, but uh, Kenya seems to be assuming a rising role of uh, promoting peace and security globally with the uh, mission to Haiti which uh, Kenya is expected to deploy a thousand police officers uh, in the coming days uh, to Haiti, to uh, the Caribbean nation, to help destabilize the country and, 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 and ward off uh, rampant gang violence. This is a mission that the United States uh, is strongly supporting and in fact contributing something to the tunes of $300 million to support um, the mission in, in Haiti. So this is an opportunity for both Kenya and the United States for cooperation uh, on humanitarian uh, grounds as well. Uh, the visit today, today is Thursday, uh, after the joint press conference, uh, the Kenyan head of state is uh, scheduled to have dinner at the White House with President Joe Biden and the U.S. First Lady uh, Jill Biden, as well as the Kenyan First Lady who's here as well, uh, Rachel uh, Ruto. They, they, they're scheduled to have a dinner at the White House. Uh, featuring uh, country, mu country musician uh, Brad Paisley as well as uh, Howard University Gospel Choir. Um, it, the, the White House said uh, the whole dinner is catered and, and tailored to the taste and, and uh, preferences of the Kenyan President uh, William Ruto. will continue um, uh, following developments as the visit is still uh, going on. Uh, this is uh, Nabil Biagio in Washington for VOA News. Nabil Biagio giving us those reports from Washington, D.C.